Flutterstone Beta integration with Firebase is not quite as polished as one would like. So I'm going to walk you through the routine. It does work as advertised. It's just a little on the frustrating side. So what I've got here is a, uh, a Flutter app uh, out of the box running on an iPhone and Android. And I have an app in Firebase that I've already set up called Flutfire. In fact, I've already set up um, two apps on it. I'm going to go through the routine of how that was done. Um, the first thing we want to do is add an app, and I think we're going to do iOS first. So we begin by trying to find the iOS bundle. Well, the way I do it is I right-click on iOS, go down to Flutter, open iOS in Xcode, click on Runner, if you're a native iOS developer, then Runner should be familiar to you because Flutter uses CocoaPods. And uh, you should also know what a bundle identifier is and where to find it. You'll find it in uh, the General tab. And uh, we also have the option to select a team, which I'm doing here. I'm not going to close it just yet. Go back to my app. I hit register app. And I'm going to download uh, my Google services dash info file. Ah, I've got too many of them here. Let me do that one again. Hit OK. Downloads. And we want to, uh, well, according to the instructions, we want it under My Application in the same area as the main storyboard. So that happens to be in Runner and main storyboard. So we want to put it right there. Document. I didn't mean to do that. Let me put all this stuff back where it's supposed to be. Okay. Are you thoroughly confused right now? Sorry about that. All right, make certain you're copying the items if needed and you create a folder reference. And there we have it, Google services info .p list. All right, close this out. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of this here. We don't need it anymore. All right, uh, if we hit next, now all the pod in it, fire, pod, Firebase core, we don't need to do any of that. And we don't need to do any of this either. So we come to this page and uh, it's not going to work. And I'm going to tell you why. Oops, let's close all this. I'll tell you right now, if we... Um, hit hot reload it's not going to make the connection see um, checking if the app has communicate with the with our servers you may need to uninstall and reinstall the app probably you will have to reinstall the app but that's not what the problem is the problem is pubspec.yaml and specifically in dependencies so what we need to do is actually go to the the flutter fire um, plugin section in GitHub and we need to look for Cloud Firestore and I have it selected here and we need to select well what we do we can just follow the instructions they're actually pretty good you copy that and you go to dependencies uh, 
or to beginners, make certain that this is indented properly. If it's indented the wrong way, it will not work. So we want to save that. And then we want to look in our Dart packages right here between Cupertino and Flutter. We've got nothing so far. So what we want to do is hit package.get and keep an eye on that. Wait for it. There we go. There's our firebase.core underscore core. All right, so uh, let's close this out. Go back to, well, we don't have to, we don't have to go here, but um, as you can see, we still have not made a connection. So we're going back to Android Studio and hit Hot Reload. Sometimes this works and sometimes it does not. Well, it's not right now, so we're just going to close it. And we'll reload it. And if it doesn't work uh, this time around, then what we can do is go to Tools. Whoops. We can go to Tools, Flutter, and Flutter Queen. But this is a good sign. Do you see where the, the pod install? That means it's cooking just right. All right, looks like some pods were installed. I'm just gonna close this out. We don't really need that anymore. Okay, the Xcode build is done. So now it's gonna install it. It's running. Let me close this up. There. It's working. But we still haven't made a connection yet. And because the configuration is not found, don't let that fool you. I'm sure the Firebase team is going to figure this out. And we, oh, there it goes. See? All fixed. So there you have it. Firebase and iOS are now connected. But uh, using the same app we need to get I, uh, Android to connect. So I'm going to move the iOS off to the side and it is now turned for, for Android. So we begin so we begin by add an app. We select Android and now we need a package name. And do you remember what I when I told you that uh, the package name and the and the iOS bundle name were the same? They are the same. But uh, you can go to App Bundle Gradle, and you'll be able to find it here as well. Okay. So this is in the build.gradle file underneath your app. It's the app level Gradle file. So let's put that here. Um, the nickname is optional. The SHA-1 key is also optional. But um, I, usually, I almost always put the SHA-1 in. However, when you go to the instructions, I don't know why this, the, why this does not work for me. And, it, and it's been this way for a very long time. But... Um, No one really talks about it. Uh, it. It doesn't work for me. Gives me this error. Only one command uh, is allowed. I mean, 
you would think that they would change the documentation if it's not right. But if you go in and you remove the dash export cert, and you don't need a password, you're doing development, here's your SHA-1. We register the app. Okay, so now we can download, well, we can download our Google-Services file And there it is, Google slash services. So we open up Android Studio again. And if you look at the documentation, it says it needs to go in the app in the My Project App services. Oh not not in the uh, source code. So um, there's the my app part and there's the where's the source? There's the source. So we want to put it right there. So we can look at it, and there's our google-services.json file. Hit next. Uh, okay, most of the stuff we don't need to do. Well, actually, I take it back. We do have to do it. First thing we have to do is go to our uh, project build.gradle file and add this line. In build script dependencies right here. Okay, so that's the first item. Close that up. And then we have to go down to the application build uh, build.gradle. We do not need this line, but we do need this guy the apply plugin and that goes all the way down at the bottom of the, of the build.gradle file. This in the previous screen uh, our standard operating procedure for doing native Android. So we go next and we get the same checking if the app has communicated with our servers. Well we haven't started it yet so the answer is of course not yet. So um, let's go ahead and select our emulator and hit go. And uh, then go have some coffee. Hmm, a failure. Why? It went, went wrong. Uh, merging Dex archives. Wow, I haven't seen that in a long time. Alright, I fortunately, that's something I've seen in native apps. So what you do is you go to source. Uh, no, no, you go to this build cradle. So Android uh, here's Android default config that's where it's got to be and then the um, I don't want to go into the details of what the problem is um, because I'm sure they're going to, the Flutter and Firebase team will resolve this issue. But if you add that, and then you go tools, flutter, flutter clean, and then you make certain your Android emulator is selected, and you hit start again.
All right, so the app is up now. That did resolve the issue. I'm going to put a little note in there as to what I did uh, in um, in the documentation of what I did, only because um, I don't think it merits. Oh, look at that! And uh, now we have a Firebase connection. So, all right, I'll just tell you what I did. If you go to um, uh, build.gradle, your um, source build.gradle, and you go to your Android default config and multi dex enabled, um, you set that to true. Okay, so now we've uh, configured both apps. We're both running just fine. But I wanted to talk to you more about uh, the Flutter plugins, the fire, the Flutter Fire stuff. Well, it should come as no surprise that if you're going to be using Firebase, you're going to need some plugins, and you need to go to Flutter Fire to find those plugins. So. Here they are. You should uh, you should recognize them if you know anything about Firebase, and if not, you should just go to Firebase and check them out. But we have all of the uh, the favorites: Firestore, Cloud Functions, uh, Firebase AdMob, Analytics, Authentication, Core, Database, Dynamic Links, Messaging, ML Vision, which is I haven't tried this out yet, but I'm looking forward to it. I've actually used it uh, during native iPhone and Android apps without using Flutter and uh, with great success. They did a good job. Performance for remote config and storage. Now, I'm not going to go into details on what each one of these does, but I am going to have new sections in my course. So uh, let's continue. If you want to add a feature, you go, you open up pubspec.yaml, and you're going to add it to your dependency section. So, for example, if I wanted to, this is Cloud Functions. So, um, for example, if we wanted to add Firebase database, we would open up the Firebase database uh, page, we'd go to Install, and we would select this dependency. We would come back to our pubspec.yaml file. We would add it. Let's close all this stuff down. It's a little confusing. Then we can go to our external libraries. Not there. Okay, so. Um, so this is going to be a Firebase database. So it should pop in right there. So I'm going to take this file, I'm going to save it. And just because it's saved doesn't mean that the package you got the packages yet. So you have to hit package get. And there you go. There's your Firebase database package. Um, actually, since I'm here, I'm going to install the, the machine learning uh, version as well. I'll add that, save it, and we should see machine learning here. There we go, machine learning. Cool, huh? If you actually want to use any of this stuff, you actually have to import it. So, uh, Cloud Firestore, we need to add this import statement. And you'll see it gray out. Um, Dart and Firebase and, and, and Flutter have this um, tree shaking feature. You can import a library, but if you don't actually use it, it doesn't actually import it. And in this, and when it does that, it kind of browns out the um, 
the listing. And uh, it's a really nice feature so you don't over import stuff. I'm going to do the same for core. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm not really sure what core is all about. I already read about it sometime. Oh, I get it. You can connect to multiple Firebase apps. Somebody was asking about that the other day, and nobody knew the answer. And it's sitting right in front of you. Uh, okay, but I will do Firebase um, Vision. I'll import that. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to import it. I'm going to show you another cool trick. Since it's in the um, since it's in our PubSpec YAML file, you can just go uh, import and then ML, and it'll kind of give you an option of your of what you can do. So I'm going to select um, Firebase ML Vision. And there. Again, it's we're doing some tree shaking, so it's not actually going to show anything. And um, you can get some example code here. So it looks like um, machine learning is going to need some async and some Dart IO. And that standard image picker, yeah, I suppose. I guess that's to get access to the camera, but um, I'd have to look at it. Um, at any rate, it's still working. So that's been a very long video. I apologize for keeping you up. <laughs> and there you have it.